that's a different princess. Okay. I this get it. Sometimes you got a, a, a rotation going on. I, I understand. Man, that... Damn. Now, I was going to say, first in a... First in, in, Mar in Mario Galaxy and now in Smash Bros, Peach just keeps getting in, in upstaged by Rosa here. I mean, it, that's what happens when you're just taller, bro. It's just, it's just part of the way it goes Yo, sometimes. You got some extra height, it goes I was gonna say, as, as a tall woman, woman, I'm learning this each and every day. It, listen, it's a thing. People like it. I understand. But on the other side, we have the Hero of Time getting juggled to absolute filth, right? Has to, oh wait, hold on, you have a chance to pull out a bomb here, maybe? No, not gonna go for it. And just gonna go for that boomerang, which, like, I understand it's a good tool. It's oh, safe on block. No. That recovery was not it, though. Yeah, just it goes just, a little bit too low. Yeah, buffering the wrong option there, and you just unfortunately just not able to recover afterwards. That neutral air combined with bomb, as long as that bomb is bouncing nice. right, I, that bomb will have an active hitbox, which can be so useful for disrupting Luma. Plus, neutral air is so incredibly active to boot. Right, Link is a character that can keep Luma disrupted, and, but sometimes can just struggle to just fight the amount of options that Rosa can cover at any given time. Yeah, I've always been the person with the weird Smash hot take that I always think that, like, Link is a top 15 character, and most people are like, Flam, what are you smoking? But I just think he's too hard, is what it is. I feel like optimized Link requires a lot of Z-drop bomb combos that no Link player we have seen has ever been able to consistently do and just like, that's the difference to yeah, me. And we're starting to see some Link players start to execute them, but it's hard because the, situ the combo opener to find that too is so situational. I, it, oh, it's oh. right, like if somebody does something unsafe on shield, you Z-drop that, like you're good, right? It's the same thing as like, you have to make sure that you're not attacking Peach's shield while she's holding a turn up because you might lose your stock. Yeah. For Link, in theory, it is the same, but no one's been able to like pull the trigger and we don't have T anymore. Like yeah. the other T, you know? And, and you know, neither of these players had a stop there either. Both kind of taking one back and forth. Now a flash stock situation here for game one. Looking there, that was that exact scenario you talked about, Flambo, because getting caught with Bomb on one side and you on the other, so not able to look for the footstool opener. Instead, J-Force is just going to be trying. And, and, and why is it that all Link players have Force in their name? I get it's a Triforce reference, but like all of them, man. I mean, listen, like a Force is a powerful thing. You need to be one with it, right? And so like you have to represent it where you can so people know where your alignment is. I understand it. It makes sense. I mean, look at this, right? They would have smack away Luma. Luma's gone and out the picture. And now you are a man with big sword against someone who doesn't have a whole lot of range without Luma, right? But that being said, her getting pushed off stage there and then Link not really being wow. a character that can go off the edge guard you is fantastic for Ray because that Luma timer is ticking every second you're off stage. And when you are going to ledge trap like Link, it just means that get dislodging Luma before, oh, unless you're finding the stop up, is not that good. I oh, no. going to be it. Yeah, it just gets tagged by that down air for just a moment. And it's enough for Link to not to be able to recover. Yeah, that DI in the back row just was like holding down or something. Just really went way too low on it. Yeah, that was that was weird. And we saw that was the second time we really saw just awkward DI or awkward positioning. That was a forward throw even. Oh, and, man. Oh, he just, he just got clipped a little yeah, bit Yeah, just there. a little bit. And what was weird there was... It was like, was it the hit, like the hit lag maybe reduced the max height, like the max height of the jump slightly? Because watch this, you went a little too low to avoid the spike, sure. But the, the position that that spike came out at, you could have just jumped over and gone high. And I'm really, and I just looked like the decision making wasn't fast enough. Yeah, it looked like a moment where there was a little bit of, of maybe panic from J-Force here, where it's like, oh, I don't want to double jump. I see the down yeah. air coming, but then you're starting to get lower and lower towards the bottom blast zone. Oh, you're I, like, oh, I, I see what happened. Jump. I don't know if you caught it early on the left. There was a fastball that came out. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Into the, it was a locked in fastball, and then you just you, you can't jump early anymore or or because the down air is coming out on reaction. But so is the Peach here. We thought we were getting a game one, but... Feeling like even though you took that game to show something different and warm up both your characters for the rest of your sets and stop those adjustments from coming in. Yeah, that's kind of the, what happens when you get a, a directional air dodge, right? You're locked into a certain amount of units that you have to fall before you're actionable again. And it also meant that J-Force didn't have the opportunity to pull out a bomb and try to use that for recovering as well. But that hopefully things will be better here. That being said, I am surprised to see the, you opt for Peach on this stage 
game number two, because Rosa really likes this stage. Peach, not as much, right? It disrupts a lot of her combos. She gets juggles here, er, and can still have a really strong neutral, but her advantage state that we kind of are, know her for isn't really oh. as strong. That being said, Ray just has not really cared so far. Yeah, I mean, Ray gonna go ahead and shove J-Force off. Nice use of the bomb there to be able to recover high because otherwise you're gonna get hit by that toad counter that we saw Ray try to use earlier. It's really hard for Link to work away around. Uh, uh, Smash into the bomb, bouncing back, right? That initial hit, getting a little bit of a tick and then popping up to get just enough hit stun to knock in the last hit. SDI aside. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Just no up, no up special. That's, that's the third time now, and I gotta wonder if, you know, Whoa. if there is something wrong with the controller, if it's just a mental blank that's happening. Yeah, it just looks it just looks odd, right? It looks completely unintentional, so I can't quite figure out what the idea is here, though. All yeah. right, chefing up a little bit with this bomb. Nice catch into the forward air as well. Sends the bomb high, tries to catch. It's not going to be enough, but it is a little bit of extra damage tagged on. Uh, and I want to just say as well, of these nares, right, the pressure from Ray offensively and in neutral across both games has been really solid. It's just been, once you get off stage, it feels like he's just putting the controller oh. down sometimes. And honestly, what I'm... That's going to be stopped. Yeah, here comes Toad, and then boom, you're gone. What I'm noticing is that J-Force is getting stuffed a lot. Oh, he uses the, uh, the Blade Beam that you get from having 0%. You don't get to see that often. But, uh... Yeah, getting stuffed a lot by back air. Tries to go for these forward airs, gets hit in between the swings by a back air, and it's like, oh, you gotta place the hitboxes a little bit better. I also uh, just gotta say, my friend, we were listening to Geek Players earlier. I gotta shout out the, the Midwest's perennial Peach Dawn as well, who I somehow did not put on that list, which is absolutely insane of me, especially here. But speaking of insanity, right, those full hops going back, forth, and sideways, Ray is locked and loaded, and J Force trying to find a swing, trying to find a hit, but at 142, just not able to trap Peach in any position. And Ray's spacing has been so good that he's not letting J Force have any opening to find a stock unless it's just a narrow ledge. Okay, J Force tries to Z drop the bomb, but it gets booty bumped off of. And at this point, it's like, how do I get the KO here, right? Try to go for up smash. Up air obviously will KO here. And so maybe I send Peach up. Yeah, that's gonna go ahead and take the stock there, but you still have quite a bit of work to do. Oh, the full hop neutral air once again. again. Yeah, he's just getting predictable on those, right? He's not mixing up his neutral air timing at all. Yes. And Link's Nair does it all in part because the timing mix-ups are so easy oh. to throw out. Speaking of, once again, the timing gets caught on that Nair yet again. Not able to really bait the options out, and that back air is going to be enough on its own. A bit of a anticlimactic ending there. <laughs> I think both of the players are even looking a little bit kind of bedazzled by the fact that it just ended like that so yeah, abruptly. And honestly, that was. Uh, it felt like that was the energy throughout the set, so at least it, it remained consistent. But w there was definitely some moments where it's just like. It felt almost like J Force just forgot to DI or forgot to push a button or it wasn't working right because the amount of times right that we saw either just a weird fast fall all or just he didn't push a button or didn't DI and died. We saw four or five different stocks across the set where that happened and that's well that's almost all of them where it's just like what what's going on behind the scenes there? We aren't really sure, but just a weird Weird way to end, end the set in general, and a weird way for the set to progress. Yeah. J-Force definitely just, uh, I don't know, uh, a little bit. If, if you got to lock in, I'd say J-Force a little locked out. You know what I mean? Couldn't find yeah. a way in. Hey, knocking on the door, Eric Andre style, just could never really find that moment where we're able to break through the gates and really, you know, play toward their win condition. And so and, uh, it is what it is. I think speaking of breaking through the gates, my friend. I think Wave C is attempting to break through the gates just over there, Don't getting started say. in just a couple moments. And that, my friends, means it's the end of the road for Flambo and I. I've been Ritual. You can find me below at RitualCasts. And Flambo, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at FlambeZ or on the internet or on Brawlhalla Cast or on Tampa Never Sleep sometimes. It's, you'll see me around. I've been in the scene long enough. You'll find me. And folks, until next time, have a good one. Make some noise for NA versus the World! Ever wondered which region has the best Super Smash Bros. players? The NA versus the World.